If you had one word to describe Brasher, what would it be? Probably say family. It's going to sound silly, but and when you just said it, the word family popped into my head. Brasher's always kind of been like a family. I always want to say they're like, like community. I would say supportive. I'd probably say community. Brasier Middle College was opened in 2006 in Greenville, South Carolina. To be quite honest, it's a story of survival. When we first opened, we had a full board, and through different political situations, we lost that board, and a small group of five individuals decided to keep the hope alive to open this charter school. Brasier means opportunity. Uh, you know, we, I was in a, a, a Title I middle school as a principal for four years. Um, and really realized at that point, when a school district is very large, they have to plan for a larger group of students. And you, you just can't get as small as you need to be. And it's not anybody's fault, it's just the nature of scaling. So when I had a chance to open the school, um, my goal was to make sure that those students that didn't have a voice had a voice. I personally have had more leadership opportunities at Brazier than anywhere else. Um, I've been able to participate in yearbook staff. I'm currently an editor in that. And I've been able to be a, a member of NHS and be able to lead certain committees on there. And I've also been able to do stuff with Beta Club. Not only do I have a lot of college credits going into high, uh, college, but I also know kind of the structure of what a college class will be and how even though it gets hard, how to keep pushing. Our innovation is middle college model. Um, since we've opened, uh, it's really kind of morphed on a national level more to an early college. Um, a lot of technical schools and colleges really misuse the early college and use it generally for dual credit. But early college is a school that is primarily focused on students taking college classes in the college building. The teachers here are very aware of what they're doing. Like, and since it's a smaller school, they have more of a chance to get to each individual student. And I feel like they don't notice just our academics, but they also notice our real life and what we actually are and see when we're struggling. And I think that's such a good environment. No matter what is going on, we're all in this together. We work together, we play together, we cry together, we laugh together. And that, to me, um, makes a great place to work. There's never a day that I come here that I don't want to be here. I think one of the things, I think, is the size of the school. I think it's the perfect size. Um, I taught for 10 years at another public high school that had 2,000 students in it. And you just don't know. Kids fall through the cracks, I feel like. There's just, you, you don't know other teachers. There were over 100 teachers where I was from. And so I love that we genuinely are a family. The school wants us here. And that has been so great as a parent. The school truly wants us here. They want us here helping. You can get involved in any way, in, if, if it's just a little bit, or you, know, you have a little bit of time or a lot of time, there's something for every single parent here to get involved. And another side benefit is the fact that it creates a sense of community. Yes. We not only know our, our children and their friends, but we also know their parents. And that creates definitely a much uh, enriching sense of community all of us. As a parent, I am welcomed in regularly. Uh, I volunteer here pretty much weekly, uh, helping with the lunch and really appreciated being able to do that. I believe this place is successful because, um, because we lead with our heart. I believe, um, you know, we, we really as a staff believe as long as the students enrolled here, we will never give up. As bleak as it looks, we will never give up. Honestly, if I were to have done do another school honestly don't think I would be where I am today and you know I thank that school for this. It's taught me that I'm more capable of what I thought I was before and no matter what the challenge is if I work hard enough I can accomplish anything. I tell my students that number one that I was here from day one and we had nothing really we just had a, a classroom and now look at us and I, t I, I try to tell them and teach them that you don't have to you can start from the bottom and you can work your way up. This is a unique experience only because I've seen it from the beginning. And that's what makes it it's special to see the growth and see how much that we have grown. Um, and it just makes me proud when the students come back and say, hey, Ms. Cruel, I'm doing this, or I'm, I'm in the service, or some of them, that they may not even be doing anything that's you know, successful in terms of like making a whole bunch of money, but they come back and sometimes they just say thank you. And to me, that means the world. It's a sense of heart. It's a sense of that desire to watch students mature and overcome obstacles. I think that's a big thing that we see is 
Students um, often are afraid to fail because we put so much pressure on them as a society not to fail. Failure is just a part of it. It's what do you do after you fail? Um, and so resilience, perseverance, you, you see those words in our school because that's all character, that's all your heart. And so if we can change that heart, if we can make students stronger, we think the rest of it will fall in place.